Hello, it's Dr. Katie. I'm here with Advanced Hormone Therapy, and today is testosterone myth number four. Um, again, we're in the series of 10 testosterone myths. I do apologize. I think my last video I said 12 mistakenly. Um, I did mean 10, so we're going to talk about those specific myths that um, have shown to have uh, proof that they um, don't um, exist or not related to testosterone specifically. So myth number four and um, is that testosterone therapy causes hoarseness or deepening of the voice. Um, I honestly don't really get this concern. When women come to me and we're discussing initiating testosterone therapy in their situation and I ask, when I ask about what their concerns are or we talk about side effects, I've honestly never had voice changes come up from the patient. Um, so I don't know that it's honestly really a major concern for most people. Um, or maybe they just don't think about it, but um, I, I do I occasionally mention it. Um, I've really kind of stopped mentioning it, really, because it, one, I, I've never had it happen. Um, I just don't see it. And then two, um, as you will hear um, in this video, there really is no evidence that testosterone therapy does in fact cause hoarseness. In fact, there's studies that refute that fact or show that in fact it it doesn't um, uh, cause that or is not related to it. So um, unfortunately, I think, again, like earlier when we talked about how we identify testosterone as a male hormone, we, and we think of testosterone replacement, and we think of the effects of testosterone in the body, we, our brain automatically goes to um, what makes a man a man. And a lot of those things are hair growth, deepening of the voice, musculature, um, aggressiveness, um, those sorts of things, um, we automatically think, okay, well, they have high testosterone, that's the cause, and, and that's not the case. So um, when we take testosterone, there's no physiological reason that it should cause hoarseness. There's no physiological direct effect on the vocal cords. So when we when voice changes for example happen in a pubertal male and he's going through um, puberty and has deepening of voice there are other physiological reasons for that happening you know his, his body's growing it's changing there's hormonal changes so there's lots of things that happen during that time so it's very different in a grown female or a grown male who comes in they've already gone through puberty their body has gone through those changes everything's been established now their hormones are dropping and we're replacing their testosterone we're not going to have the same effect on their body so uh, there have been studies that have looked at primarily actually synthetic, again, synthetic testosterone, Danazole being one of the synthetics that is no longer used, but used to be in the past. Um, and even with that, which is a, I would say, quote unquote, a stronger androgen than testosterone, there were no documented or um, evidence that it caused um, identifiable changes in voice. So same thing with testosterone. There's never um, been that a, a statistical significance found. Now, some people may feel like it changes, but most of the time, if you ask someone else, do my voice sound different? Most people don't notice a difference. Um, in fact, there are many other things that cause hoarseness, and you know, up to 30% you know, of individuals throughout their lifetime will experience some sort of hoarseness for some other reason. Allergies, inflammation, reflux, uh, tears in the esophagus. There's many more other things that can cause hoarseness. So I haven't had this ever happen, but if someone would come in to me after starting testosterone therapy and you know they, oh, I'm hoarse, my voice is deepening, I would not automatically assume that it's testosterone because it's honestly probably the least, least likely reason that that's going on. I would want to potentially look into other potential reasons um, and either treat or evaluate that first because there could be something else going on. So unfortunately we tend to jump to things which unfortunately one can lead to things being missed in patients which can have its own dangers and, and limitations. Um, so you know it, we need to look at the whole picture, um, understand that um, 
you know, what testosterone is actually doing in our body. The other thing that has been documented is that actually low testosterone, particularly males, because they have such a, they can have such a dramatic, dramatic decrease, um, causes more inflammation. So testosterone is an anti-inflammatory, um, it's a rest and recovery hormone, so it improves our um, immune system, decreases inflammation in our body. So when our testosterone drops, inflammation increases, our body can't heal and recover as well, and so individuals with too low of testosterone are actually more likely to experience hoarseness, probably because it's exacerbated by something else and their body can't recover from that than individuals who have a normal testosterone or who are appropriately treated with testosterone therapy. So um, though it isn't a huge concern in my particular patient population, um, and I have not had that side effect um, in my patients, um, it is, um, definitely important to um, talk to patients about that, understand it, and um, reassure patients that one, it won't happen. If it does, we need to look into other things. And in many, many, many cases, it is a reversible thing and not related to their therapy. So um, please, again, comment, like, um, share. Um, I appreciate it and I look forward to sharing the next six testosterone myths with you um, in the upcoming week. Have a fantastic day.